A break in turns deadly and to a deadly gunfight in downtown Atlanta, leaving one man dead and three others hospitalized. Police say it happened overnight on Auburn Avenue near Leonard State Street. Fox Wise Brittany Edney is live from there tonight with more details. Brittany, what's the latest? Christine, we have seen this all over Atlanta, shooting stemming from vehicle owners as they confront thieves breaking into their cars. This time, though, Atlanta police say everyone involved was shot. Atlanta police say an attempted car break in of a red Cadillac SUV turned deadly when a man walked outside a lounge that's about to open. Owner of the vehicle confronted the males. An exchange of gunfire happened, and one of the males is deceased. He's pounding. Nearby, Sweet Auburn Bread Company says they've been a longtime staple in the community, and safety has never been a problem. Uh, that's what Dio Clinton came and tried our sweet potato cheesecake. That's what we're known for, and we've never really had any problem, any issues. Windsor Jones says he grew up helping his mom in the bakery, and says he still feels safe despite this one-off situation. It's an issue everywhere in Atlanta. It's not just an Auburn Avenue situation, you know. So I feel safe. It's unfortunate that happened. Things happen. You just got to stay prayed up and just keep your head on the swivel. Jones says whether it's at a parking garage, side street, or parking lot, if you spot a crime in progress, the safest route is to avoid engaging. Well, I understand how the first reaction is to kind of like, you know, you know, like, hey, get away from my car. But ultimately, you know, it's not worth it. It's not worth your life. You know, you just got to let the foe have it. As for the overnight shooting, detectives say they know the SUV owner was armed, but are working to determine how many of the alleged car thieves fired shots. We are reviewing video footage. We're not sure exactly who all had a gun. The owner of the vehicle and the other two survivors, they are all receiving treatment at Grady and are expected to be okay. Reporting live, Brittany Edney, Fox 5 News. Brittany, thanks for the latest from there.